what are some of the dangers of big data as far as, you know, can the government or large corporations sort of use this against people or use this to move things in a certain way? Sure. Um, and I think we're moving into a category of things where it becomes more important. I mean, the, m much of the use so far has been marketing, online advertising, um, and targeted ads and the like. And if the algorithm gets you wrong, what happens? You see the wrong ad. Is that, you know, you know how bad is that? You Where, might laugh a little. <laughs> right, right. And the, the shoe that follows you forever, or, or right. you see the, the ad for the Broadway show that you've already gone to. Yes. I mean, that's, an, that's another one. But we're moving into is categories of things where the decisions are, matter more, the stakes are getting higher. Mm -hmm. So it's things like loan approvals, crime mm -hmm. prevention, medical diagnosis. And is a powerful correlation <laughs> good enough? You know, to, yeah. because it, if it gets you wrong, then you're in the wrong classification. And the, mm -hmm. you know, the offers you're seen in, the offers you are made in, from loans or, or uh, healthcare or, or information that you're shown is, uh, is misreading you. And it can limit your choices in theory. Mm -hmm. um, personally, and privacy, of course, is a big issue yeah. as a second one. I'm, on that score, I don't think it's not a significant issue, but I think we have a healthy marketplace of competing interests that do this. I mean, yeah. recently the administration put out its uh, consumer privacy bill, right, for the digital age. And both the internet companies and the privacy advocates were opposed to it. So they must be doing something right. Hmm. And we've kind of been this way before. Um, that is, at the turn of the century, meaning 1900, <laughs> film cameras arrived and f suddenly people had the brownie camera. And they could photograph people in informal positions and, sp and spontaneous activities. Whereas before, with the old kind of chemistry set, standard stuff, right. you had to, you know, you're frozen like a stone statue, right, to be yeah. photographed. And people thought these, taking these sort of spontaneous pictures was a huge violation of privacy for a while. They're known as ah. camera fiends. They were banned from beaches, banned from the Washington Monument for a while. But social attitudes changed, and people mm -hmm. became more accustomed and familiar with it. And mm -hmm. then uh, the other analogy I, I, I think of is in the 1960s when mainframe computers really started to be, to be used widely. And so the government, IRS and others, gathered large databases. Credit reporting bureaus gathered personal files, dossiers on people. And there was a huge hue and cry. Vance Packard was better known for going after advertising, you know, the hidden persuaders, did a thing called the Naked Society in 1964 when the first mainframe was introduced. And he mm. was, it, it talked about the prying eyes of big business. Um, and what we had, we had some basic rules that were passed. We had uh, um, a Fair Credit Reporting Act of, as, that controlled what you could do with some of this financial information. And we had a Basic Privacy Act in, in the early 70s. And uh, you had rules and changing social attitudes. And um, I think of this as Ed Felton of, of uh, Princeton is a computer security expert and has dealt in these issues for a long time. And his, his analogy is that, you know, we come to an accommodation with things. It's not a solution. Mm -hmm. And we've been this way with technologies before, starting with fire. Yeah. You cook your food with it or burn down your hut. Right. The automobile <laughs> is pollutes the air, kills people, but it's also a vehicle of uh, personal freedom, individual movement, uh, created regional and national markets. In the 1960s, when people had to be, use seat belts for the first time, it was an outrage. It was a you know, violation of basic <laughs> individual rights. Ah. Um, <laughs> and we you know, become accustomed to it. There are certain rules, yeah. we, it, technologies that really matter, um, we find a way to live with. And I think that's what we'll do with this.